Well, the Attorney General of Virginia is now seeking a U.S. Supreme Court review of President Obama's health care law, which a federal court in that state has already ruled unconstitutional. But the Justice Department says it will oppose the request to go to the Supreme Court. Why could that be? Is politics at play here? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, the former Republican National Committee Communications Director, Doug I, and former Clinton Economic Advisor, Tim Pung. Doug and uh, Tim, welcome this morning. Doug, let me start with you. Thank you. I mean, you would think the administration would be fighting tooth and nail to get this to the Supreme Court if they back it. How come they're not? Well, it's, it's uh, the fact that the uh, Department of Justice works for the White House, and this is its number one priority. Uh, and, and so they want to make sure that whatever they do, uh, that the, the president's number one priority isn't, isn't thrown out before the elections. But, you know, politics often resembles something from like a Monty Python skit. And I think if you find the um, uh, Obama campaign simultaneously debating Republicans and the Supreme Court, uh, we'll know that we've entered something that's really dangerous for the Obama campaign. That's something we've never seen before. Well, what do you think will happen once it gets there? Well, we don't know yet, uh, but certainly 26 states um, have filed suit. Uh, we just had the big decision in Florida as well. Uh, this is legislation that we know the American people didn't want. It's also legislation that is now on the ropes. Uh, Tim, the, some of the judges are shooting this thing down. What's going to happen? Well, I think it's hard to say, but I think the first question you have to ask is, what's the rush? You know, the issue that's at, at stake here, the individual mandate, doesn't actually even take place for another three years. So this idea that we have to have a decision in the next three months, I think, is simply, is simply wrong. Second, I think there's a, there's a reason for appellate court review. The reason our court system has a system that's, that's where you have the Supreme Court and appellate review is that we want experienced and thoughtful federal judges to t take a look at these issues and hone in on the legal arguments before, uh, before it goes to the Supreme Court. Lastly, I'd say I think the administration welcomes the opportunity to rack up some victories at the appellate level, which might even make a Supreme Court review unnecessary. Well, I, well, do you think the American people, though, are left dazed and confused? I mean, you've got the administration supporting this. You've got others in Congress against it. And now you've got judges, uh, you know, practically, uh, th you know, throwing bricks at each other over this, over this law. Doug? You know, I think the American people would love to see the administration and Congress focus on jobs. I think there's a growing frustration of this whole idea that we're going to relitigate a lot of these battles from the last Congress. The reality is the hysteria and the apocalypse that the Republicans suggested that the health care law was going to be just simply hasn't come to pass. Since the health care law was passed, 1.1 uh, million jobs have been created in this country. So that's the focus that I think the American people want, and I think that's the focus of the administration and, and certainly the Democratic-controlled Senate. Yeah, but do you, do you credit this law with creating those jobs, Tim? No, I don't, not at all. But I think what, what, you, what you do have to say is there was, there was certainly the case that the Republicans said, when this law is created, you're going to have all, just this terrible situation, joblessness, et cetera, et cetera, and that simply just hasn't happened. What I think the American people want to see again is a focus on jobs, a focus on the economy, and, and not a rehashing out of this health care debate that they, they view as settled. Yeah, what about this rehashing out, Doug? And, and what about the claim that this uh, law potentially has health jobs? Well, we, we spent two years. Uh, talking about health care when we should have talked about jobs, whether in town halls that uh, might have cost uh, Arlen Specter a Senate seat uh, or Claire McCaskill, who's got a tough Senate race right now. Um, and certainly the president spent two years traveling the country talking about something that wasn't the number one priority, jobs. Now, as far as the implementation on it, it it's a bit like, uh, to, to use a medical term, it's a bit like, you know, a doctor visit. Uh, if you're going to give the patient a shot and it's a shot that they don't want, uh, you try and put a little sugar in it uh, at the beginning so that you get the sweet part over with. Uh, we think this will be a destroyer for jobs, um, and it's critical uh, that, that we do repeal this legislation. But what we know is uh, even if we can't repeal it uh, through the House and Senate uh, over the next two years, uh, the courts may do that anyways because it's been ruled now by, uh, in, again, in the, in the Florida case, that this entire act is unconstitutional. Right, well, it's going to the uh, appeals court, the appellate court, in May.